All right, guys. AB is back with you. This is the second time in one day, so that's a bit, a bit odd, right? Anyways, we're going to make this video as short as possible, and here's why I feel or think that most people are being led astray, at least just as far as the narrative of or the idea of the buyout of AMC. And why do I think it's actually indeed a good thing for us if that was to be the case? Uh, it, of course, all that whole Amazon stuff was rumors and they themselves have abolished it. However, that doesn't mean it's completely all out of the picture now or out of the woodworks. Here's the thing. More, many people are concentrating on an outside effect, but they're like, uh, as far as like, oh, this is bad for AMC. If somebody acquires us, then we like the shorts and all that will be basically let off the hook and all this stuff. Okay, enough of the shenanigans. Out with the old and with the new. Here's what you got to know. If truly somebody want to purchase AMC, first of all, let, let let some common sense kick, uh, kick in and then we will go ahead and dive with the facts. The first common sense to go with is they have to buy out all the shares um, and they, of course, got to get the approval of the investors. In this case, we happen to be the majority investors in this company. Now, here's the thing. How can they buy a stock or a company who's because on like on their side, like let's say Amazon, hypothetically speaking, want to buy AMC. They're only going to be looking at the outstanding shares and the market cap. And that's what they're going to be paying for. And here's we will talk about what why is it actually good if that's even the case, even though it's not. But that's what they're going to be paying for. The problem here is that's not really the what's on the books because when they buy you out, they got to pay for all the shares. Now, the big problem here is uh, the shares that are on that that are on the uh, obviously on the platforms or that you see as far as the market cap, as far as the um, outstanding shares and the market and the float. That's what is written on these uh, like rightfully should be there. However, because of the market that we're in, obviously for years now. There was birth at some point, obviously, that was given. And this started like back all the way, can go back all the way to the 70s. However, for this specific movement, this AMC, GME, and the meme stock, if you want to refer to it as such, um, movement, they took it on different level the other side did, and they basically have put it on steroids, which is, if you guessed what I'm talking about, yes, synthetic shares. So if Amazon comes hypothetically to buy AMC and they got to pay for the shares or replace the shares with their company shares or give like basically the investors from uh, this company, which is AMC shares of Amazon, then that's what they have to provide for that many, for however many out there. So if we all believe there are 10 billion shares or 50 billion shares or however many billions of shares out there in AMC, that's what the buying company has to take care of. Now, once they see something like that, they're going to be basically saying, uh, no, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to wait until this is over and then I will uh, do uh, come in and buy However, this is a capitalism world. This is a capitalist world. So therefore, uh, if somebody wants something amongst these guys, there's no honor amongst thief. These guys will make a bid. Here's how buyouts happen. If Amazon, to hypothetically speaking, was to throw an official bid at AMC to buy out normally in buyouts, the buying company would give an offer per share, if they're buying out shares, for example, uh, because there's a, a multiple ways of buying out. They can buy them out by uh, buying them out all in cash, or they can buy them out by doing some cash and some uh, shares of their company, of Amazon's company, or just a complete replacement of the shares of the buy company they're buying, and they give their investors shares in their company, which again is the least uh, likable or the least 
possible outcome. Most of the times it's always a cash buyout, similar to like what Microsoft did with LinkedIn earlier this year, right? Um, so here's the funny thing. If Amazon wants to get the, the, the deal uh, signed and get basically us to vote on it, because again, we are in such a, see, every business deal is different. Even though if it's, if it's the same uh, people, even if it's the same, um, like, even if it's a restaurant to a restaurant or whatnot, the deal is different based on the dynamics. In this dynamic, we are not the minority investor. We are the majority. So whatever that has to be approved, have to be approved through us. Now, uh, the buying company always have to, and they, I mean, it's a common sense courtesy. It's like, if I want, what would make you sell? They always give you an offer that you cannot uh, refuse. Similar to what also Elon Musk did with Twitter. You know, when he put those, uh, what was it, 44, uh, almost $50 billion to buy Twitter, that was an offer that the shareholders or the board that didn't want to sell Twitter to him, they he basically bent their arm behind their back and forced them to take that offer because if the offer is too good by law, they have to take it to their investors and their investors obviously is like, oh yeah, we'll take that. F yeah. Uh, that was like almost a over a, almost over 100% profit for them on their uh, current shares. Now, that's not what we're in this for, right? We're in this for the MOAS. Here's where the really cool part, here's where Amazon could, for example, hypothetically speaking, speed up the process of this covering BS and finish this nightmare in the same time, get what they want afterwards. And here's what I mean by this. If Amazon makes a formal bid and says, we want to buy for this much, X, Y, Z. Based on that news, you can bet your ass that the markets will move up at least anywhere between 50 to maybe perhaps 100% on that news alone because people don't want to miss out on the possibility of the sell. And if AMC, for example, is at five bucks or whatever, five, four, five, six bucks, just on that move up, it will t take the AMC up to perhaps the eight, the nines, the tens, possibly even easily to the $12 range on that news because obviously investors, institutional investors, retail investors, every, even under the ground, dead investors would want some of that, even day traders. And those are the ones that are really important in this case here, want to cash in on the uh, offer. Obviously, if the offer was to go through and the majority investors was to accept the offer, then people want that. But see, here's the thing. We don't necessarily even have to accept this offer. We just want it to be formally made. When that offer is made and you get this catalyst of run up, do you know how many actual margin calls will be rolled out? And how many people would hurt billions of dollars at these levels that we're at? People who shorted AMC in these levels, like the Antares, vaporized. Uh, the, any, all these people would get screwed and they'll be forced to cover. Amazon could very well know this as well. See, that's the funny thing. But just because, even if they're friends with these guys, just because they got their eyes on AMC and they can't continue to wait because they want to make this proposition... All they have to, and they can't buy it for the current value that it's in because the real value is behind closed doors and it's astronomical, possibly in a, a trillion dollar company like another Amazon, uh, perhaps even more. Um, at the end of the day, they could fire that bullet that one releases us out of prison and ev eventually leads to their release out of uh, also prison, which is getting their hands on what they want. If they want AMC's infrastructure, they want their screens and whoever, they don't necessarily need to go for Sign World. They don't need to go for second best. You got to remember these uh, big timers, they're all about number one. And if they see value in this, they can't buy AMC for the, for the market value that it's at right now. So it's best for them, if they got their eyes on AMC to get this nightmare over with, for throw in this bid, 
We don't necessarily have to obviously accept it. I don't think anybody would accept it, even if it was a very great offer and all that. But the rest of the market, the institutions, the day traders, all that, all of these people would jump in. Go look back in history and see how many companies um, did a formal buy. Like look at Microsoft with LinkedIn. Look at Elon Musk with Twitter. The Basically, when they get the acceptance, that's the difference maker right there. If they don't get the acceptance just by making that offer, the markets will move such a crazy way to the upside, of course, on that news. And we don't we need to play the chess right here that we're talking about. We're talking about chess and checkmates and all this stuff. That's right there. How you think with checkmate strategy. You don't just think inside the bubble. You got to think outside of it. So if somebody was to throw, I welcome any big company to come in or Amazon or Microsoft or Apple, whoever, to come in and try to buy AMC or at least throw a formal bid. Because in this case, we're not weak. We are the deciding factor. The board must present the offer to us and we have to approve on it in order for it to happen. But before even any of that happens, we will most likely be long gone because we would have already had our MOAS from many margin calls that are rolled out. You get so many people that go in and start covering ASAP because, oh, well, of course, if Amazon is buying AMC, I can't be short here anymore. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is madness at this point. Uh, in the same time, Amazon, just on that movement, even if people want to be tyrant and these shorts want to be tyrants and say, you know what? We don't care. Nothing will force us to close our positions. Okay. Well, that is very true. Nothing will force them except margin calls or share recalls. So those two scenarios will force them to close. And obviously, if there is a buyout, guess what? News. All these lenders that lent these shares out to these idiots will be like, oh, well, I want my shares now. <laughs> Can we bring them back to me. Uh, and if they didn't get, uh, if they don't get recalled, of uh, like whoever it is that's shorting, if they don't go through the recall, then they'll go through the margin effect. <laughs> because when the price starts surging based on that news or that catalyst, then you would have many people who, if they didn't get, you know, if they didn't get basically, if they didn't fall in the trap or if they didn't go and close based on their share recalls from the lenders, they will fall in the trap on the on the margin calls. So it's it's a dead, dead situation for them. It's going to be about who's going to be the first person to get in uh, and who's unfortunately for them, they're going to be the last person or people in the, in the end trying to cover and get out at that point. We would, before even having to approve this buyout or not, we would have already gotten our MOAS. We would have already gotten in, possibly even went back in and back out uh, and, 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 and waited for the buyout possibility or even voted uh, whether yes or no, if it makes any sense financially. But most importantly, we would have gotten our MOAS and this deadlock would have been broken. Uh, so that's just thinking again. Um, outside the box. It's not necessarily saying this is what will happen here, guys. I am telling you why if something like that was to arise, you don't want to be afraid of that. You would want to welcome that to a certain extent until we get what we want. And this could be exactly what you want uh, if it was to happen. I just brought this whole topic up because of the situation that happened just a, uh, a couple weeks ago where Amazon was talking about, you know, they want to buy AMC and whatever. So in a nutshell, we can't be bought. Why can't we be bought right now, at least? Because we're too expensive. Nothing can afford us. The real price for us is too expensive. Even even at these even at the, even if we all said yes, we want to sell at this price. It's too expensive for any company to buy us. You're talking billions and billions of shares that people are holding and sitting on. Uh, over four to five, perhaps even more million people are sitting on an average of 500 to 1,000 shares plus. Who's going to come in and pay out that? And they got to pay out higher than the amount that's it. They want this to thing to end so they can have an obviously a reasonable amount that they can pay uh, for a company. And at that point, if we've gotten our MOAS, uh, honestly, uh, if, if the best thing for AMC is to be purchased by a different 
giant that could keep it around and keep the screens around, why not? Um, uh, I welcome it. At the end of the day, it's not the the name AMC that's that's I'm in it for. At the end of the day, I want good and good to prevail for everyone else. I want good for myself. I want good for the family. I want good for the movement. And I want good for the company. Because I do want to go out and go to a movie on the weekends. I do want to catch on the big screen the new movies that come out. I don't want that idea to die yet. I don't want that hope to die yet. Um, and if, if, if it means that somebody who's that big like Amazon uh, that can actually take on this responsibility and keep it up uh, higher and then actually push it even further and make it flourish even more, why not? After I get my Moas. That's where the mind is so again hopefully you've gathered a lot i know it wasn't as short as possible but again you had to see all the ins and outs of things and how they work out uh so again it was uh it was a uh, it was what do you what do you call it? a rabbit it was kind of like a uh a a, a a think outside inside and outside the box but it's not necessarily a bad thing if a company tries to buy at amc because in this case we are the majority holders so therefore, we have the advantage in this particular scenario. In other scenarios, like in, for example, GME's scenario, perhaps, or in other other scenarios, maybe it's a little different. But in this scenario, it's quite completely different and it could be actually to our advantage. With that being said, please guys hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section. Much love, AV.